Can you hear that? That is the sound of thousands of Liverpool fans who have lined the streets today to welcome home the heroes, the champions of Europe, Liverpool FC. People on bus stops, we've got people on shop roofs. Just as far as the eye can see, just flags, banners, everybody has mobile phones in the hand, everybody capturing this moment. A really, really good view of the team bus. James Milner's having a dance, Andy Robertson having a dance. You can hear these Vuvuzelas. The noise is phenomenal. It's a massive red, you'll never walk alone flag to my right. So there's a big cardboard cutout of Jurgen Klopp as well. James Milner again, twirling that scarf above his head. He's absolutely loving this. We've got red balloons. There's the fireworks going off as well. The red fireworks shooting up into the sky. Jurgen Klopp holding aloft the Champions League trophy and just about see him through all the red pyro that is going up. He's lifting the trophy. Loads of red flags. I mean, we call it a sea of red. This is a sea, it's an ocean. Well, this is a community very much in shock and still coming to terms with the tragic scenes that played out here last night. Flowers and tributes are starting to arrive outside this house and the neighbours have been telling me how much this couple were loved. It is hard. Fire is terrible. Sad. Mm. I mean, I can see that the emotions yeah. beginning well, to get... Well, I've been in one myself, so... Yeah, when I was little, so... Strategy. They were lovely, lovely couple they was. I used to do help them out sometimes, do a little bit of shopping for them. How do you feel this morning, knowing that... I'm going to miss them. Because I was only in there yesterday, I was putting energy bulbs in for her. I said, these are the last 25 years. She started laughing. I think one of the saddest things about it is, you know when you get them buttons that you press the bed buttons? We told her to get one of them. You have to put someone's name down, you know. She said, well, I've got no one. So I said, put my name down. Getting a bit upset now. Uh, disgusted, to be honest, singing and chanting those words gives an impression that it's okay for people to go carry out, like attacking people on the street. It's a, obviously it's very a matter very close to our hearts. So whether or not the TSA it's about Sean or not, the first thing I think about is Sean being attacked. Theresa May said this week she, she denied that there was any link between the police cuts and the rise in knife crime. I mean, what, what would you like to say the Prime Minister if, if you had the chance? I am a mum who's lost a son and to me how can you say that not having police on the streets or shutting down police stations doesn't have any effect if they're free to roam and nobody's getting stopped and searched and there's no police that to me is just a ridiculous statement. I feel sorry for Owen because at the end of the day there's no winners in this is there. My son's not going to come back. Owen's life's ruined but at least they can go and visit him, can't they? I can't even visit my son. I knew it wasn't all his fault, and I knew he was manipulated. But again, I did feel for this kid. I'm sitting there and I'm watching him. There's no way on his own that he was capable of doing that. As I say, I'm only a silly grieving mother, aren't I? You know, I don't know nothing. A community project on the Wirral helping feed kids over the summer say things are now so bad they're running out of supplies. In the lunch packs they get a fresh sandwich, a carton of juice or a bottle of water, a packet of crisps, a fresh piece of fruit and either a chocolate bar or a chocolate biscuit. And the kids actually love taking their little bags. It takes a lot of stress off the family life. Bob's Place is helping families combat so-called holiday hunger by making... Now, after we told you this morning about the struggle to get lunches out to children in Wirral in the school holidays, two good Samaritans have stepped forward and donated £1,000 to the cause. Bob's Place is dishing out food to youngsters in Woodchurch and West Kirby, but demand's so high they've been running out of supplies. That's until Larry and Andy heard our appeal earlier and have donated enough cash to cover the service for the rest of the holidays. Andy ran me early this morning to say I'd have heard the story on the radio. Andy and I collectively decided to make a, a small donation to make sure the kids get some food, basically. It's a possibility. We've been thinking about this for a while. You know, we're talking to John Luke. There are a few things that we need to sort out, but we're looking at doing that, yeah. What would it mean to, to if we could do that, if we could bring maybe Cholo the dog here or somebody in and set up a permanent residence in one of our museums? What would that mean to Liverpool? Well, I think it would be great because it, it means when kids remember and reflect back and tell their children and, and their grandchildren about it, they'll be able to show exactly what they mean. Cause it's a bit difficult to explain how you've got these giants walking around the street. But if we've got one of them, that we or maybe more than one of them, that we can actually show, you know, look at this, this walk down the streets of Liverpool. So, as I said, let's just watch this space. The 
2019 Grand National is all over and what a race it's been. History has been made. Tiger Roll is your winner. I'm Paul Doward. I'm down at the finishing line where Tiger Roll has just become the first horse since Red Rum to win back-to-back -back Grand Nationals. In the process, making quite a few people here very happy and maybe a little rich as well. Let's see if I can grab a quick word with one of the lucky winners. Go on, so tell me, Tiger Roll's won. How much, how much have you won? About three grand. Three grand? Yeah. And I'm telling you. Really? It's a flat horse. And the last flat horse that won in A3 was who? Red Rum. Red Rum. Red Rum was bred for seven furlongs. That horse was bred for seven furlongs, and he won a four mile. You know your stuff. I mean... Oh, I know a bit about horses. Did you ever have any doubts about Tiger Roll? No, never, never, never. What's happening tonight? What are you spending your winnings well, on? We'll have a pint anyway. Just the one? Well, we could have two or three. You've earned it, haven't you? What a day. We'll have a day. Congratulations. Look after us, I So there we have it. Once again, Richard, the winner of the 2019 Grand National is Tiger Roll. I didn't back it. Hope you had better luck. Back to you. I need a pint.